In mathematics, functional decomposition is the process of resolving a functional relationship into its constituent parts in such a way that the original function can be reconstructed i.e., recomposed from those parts by function composition. This process of decomposition may be undertaken to gain insight into the identity of the constituent components which may reflect individual physical processes of interest. Also functional decomposition may result in a compressed representation of the global function, a task which is feasible only when the constituent processes possess a certain level of modularity i.e., independence or non-interaction. Interactions between the components are critical to the function of the collection. All interactions may not be observable, but possibly deduced through repetitive perception, synthesis, validation and verification of composite behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Basic mathematical definition For a multivariate function y equals f x 1 x 2 x n display style y equals f x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots x underscore n Functional decomposition generally refers to a process of identifying a set of functions g 1 g 2 g m display style g underscore 1 g underscore 2 dots g underscore m such that f x 1 x 2 x n equals phi g 1 x 1 x 2 x n g 2 x 1 x 2 x n g m x 1 x 2 x n display style f x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots x underscore n equals phi g underscore 1 x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots x underscore n g underscore 2 x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots x underscore n dots g underscore m x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots x underscore n where phi display style phi is some other function thus we would say that the function f display style f is decomposed into functions g 1 g 2 g m display style g underscore 1 g underscore 2 dots g underscore m this process is intrinsically hierarchical in the sense that we can and often do seek to further decompose the functions g i display style g underscore i into a collection of constituent functions h 1 h 2 h p Display style h underscore one h underscore two dots h underscore p such that g i x one x two x n equals gamma h one x one x 2 x n h 2 x 1 x 
2 x n h p x 1 x 2 x n display style g underscore i x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots x underscore n equals gamma h underscore 1 x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots x underscore n h underscore 2 x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots x underscore n dots h underscore p x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots x underscore n where gamma display style gamma is some other function decompositions of this kind are interesting and important for a wide variety of reasons in general functional decompositions are worthwhile when there is a certain sparseness in the dependency structure that is when constituent functions are found to depend on approximately disjoint sets of variables thus for example if we can obtain a decomposition of x 1 equals f x 2 x 3 x 6 display style x underscore 1 equals f x underscore 2 x underscore 3 dots x underscore 6 into a hierarchical composition of functions g 1 g 2 g 3 display style g underscore 1 g underscore 2 g underscore 3 such that x 1 equals g 1 x 2 Display style x underscore one equals g underscore one x underscore two x two equals g two x three x four x five display style x underscore two equals g underscore 2 x underscore 3 x underscore 4 x underscore 5 x 5 equals g 3 x 6 display style x underscore 5 equals g underscore 3 x underscore 6 as shown in the figure at right, this would probably be considered a highly valuable decomposition. Topic: Example Arithmetic. A basic example of functional decomposition is expressing the four binary arithmetic operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division in terms of the two binary operations of addition. Plus b display style a plus b and multiplication a times b display style a times b and the two unary operations of additive inversion minus a display style a and multiplicative inversion one a Display style one a subtraction can then be realized as the composition of addition and additive inversion a minus b equals a plus minus b display style a b equals a plus b and division can be realized as the composition of multiplication and multiplicative inverse a divided by b equals a times 1 b display style a div b equals a times 1 b 
This simplifies the analysis of subtraction and division, and also makes it easier to axiomatize these operations in the notion of a field, as there are only two binary and two unary operations, rather than four binary operations. Extending these primitive operations, there is a rich literature on the topic of polynomial decomposition. Topic. Example, decomposition of continuous functions Motivation for decomposition As to why the decomposition is valuable, the reason is twofold. Firstly, decomposition of a function into non-interacting components generally permits more economical representations of the function. For example, on a set of quaternary i.e., four airy variables, representing the full function x 1 equals f x 2 x 3 x 6 display style x underscore 1 equals f x underscore 2 x underscore 3 dots x underscore 6 requires storing 4 5 equals 1024 display style 4 caret 5 equals 1024 values the value of the function for each element in the cartesian product x 2 x 3 x 6 display style x underscore 2 x underscore 3 dots x underscore 6 ie each of the 1024 possible combinations for x 2 x 3 x 6 Display style x underscore two x underscore three dots x underscore six. However, if the decomposition into g one g two g three display style g underscore one g underscore two g underscore three given above is possible, then G one equals G one x two display style G underscore one equals G underscore one x underscore two requires storing four values G two equals G two x Three x four x five display style g underscore two equals g underscore two x underscore three x underscore four x underscore five requires storing four three equals sixty four display style four carrot three equals sixty four values and g 3 equals g 3 x 6 display style g underscore 3 equals g underscore 3 x underscore 6 again requires storing just four values so in virtue of the decomposition we need store only 4 plus 64 plus 4 equals 72 display style 4 plus 64 plus 4 equals 72 values rather than 1024 values a dramatic savings intuitively this reduction in representation size is achieved simply because each variable depends only on a subset of the other variables Thus, variable x one display style x underscore one 
only depends directly on variable x 2 display style x underscore 2 rather than depending on the entire set of variables we would say that variable x 2 display style x underscore 2 screens off variable x 1 display style x underscore 1 from the rest of the world practical examples of this phenomenon surround us as discussed in the philosophical considerations below but let's just consider the particular case of northbound traffic on the west side highway let us assume this variable x 1 display style x underscore 1 takes on three possible values of moving slow moving deadly slow not moving at all now let's say variable x 1 display style x underscore 1 depends on two other variables weather with values of sun rain snow and gw bridge traffic with values 10 miles per hour 5 miles per hour 1 mile per hour the point here is that while there are certainly many secondary variables that affect the weather variable e.g. low pressure system over canada butterfly flapping in japan etc and the bridge traffic variable e.g. an accident on i95 presidential motorcade etc all these other secondary variables are not directly relevant to the west side highway traffic all we need hypothetically in order to predict the west side highway traffic is the weather and the GW bridge traffic because these two variables screen off west side highway traffic from all other potential influences that is all other influences act through them outside of purely mathematical considerations perhaps the greatest value of functional decomposition is the insight it provides into the structure of the world when a functional decomposition can be achieved, this provides ontological information about what structures actually exist in the world, and how they can be predicted and manipulated. For example, in the illustration above, if it is learned that x 1 x 1 depends directly only on x 2 display style x underscore 2 this means that for purposes of prediction of x 1 display style x underscore 1 it suffices to know only x 2 display style x underscore 2 moreover interventions to influence x 1 display style x underscore 1 can be taken directly on x 2 display style x underscore 2 and nothing additional can be gained by intervening on variables x 3 x 4 x 5 Display style x underscore three x underscore four x underscore five. Since these only act through x two. Display style x underscore two. In any case, topic philosophical considerations. The philosophical antecedents and ramifications of functional decomposition are quite broad, as functional decomposition in one guise or another underlies all of modern science. Here we review just a few of these philosophical considerations. <laughs> Reductionist tradition One of the major distinctions that is often drawn between Eastern philosophy and Western philosophy is that the Eastern philosophers tended to espouse ideas favoring holism while the Western thinkers tended to espouse ideas favoring reductionism. 
This distinction between East and West is akin to other philosophical distinctions such as realism versus anti-realism. Some examples of the Eastern holistic spirit. Open your mouth, increase your activities, start making distinctions between things, and you'll toil forever without hope. The Tao Te Ching of Lao Tzu Brian Brown Walker, translator. It's a hard job for people to see the meaning of the fact that everything, including ourselves, depends on everything else and has no permanent self-existence. Majima Nikaya and Bancroft, translator. A name is imposed on what is thought to be a thing or a state and this divides it from other things and other states. But when you pursue what lies behind the name, you find a greater and greater subtlety that has no divisions. Vishuddhi Magga and Bancroft, translator the Western tradition, from its origins among the Greek philosophers, preferred a position in which drawing correct distinctions, divisions, and contrasts was considered the very pinnacle of insight. In the Aristotelian, Porphyrian worldview, to be able to distinguish via strict proof which qualities of a thing represent its essence versus property versus accident versus definition, and by virtue of this formal description to segregate that entity into its proper place in the taxonomy of nature—this was to achieve the very height of wisdom. Topic. Characteristics of hierarchy and modularity In natural or artificial systems that require components to be integrated in some fashion, but where the number of components exceeds what could reasonably be fully interconnected due to square-wise growth in number of connections. Topic <laughs> n over 2 or n asterisk n1 2 one often finds that some degree of hierarchicality must be employed in the solution the general advantages of sparse hierarchical systems over densely connected systems and quantitative estimates of these advantage are presented by reznikov 1989 in prosaic terms a hierarchy is a collection of elements that combine lawfully into complex wholes which depend for their properties upon those of their constituent parts, and wherein novelty is fundamentally combinatorial, iterative, and transparent. McGinn 1994. An important notion that always arises in connection with hierarchies is modularity, which is effectively implied by the sparseness of connections in hierarchical topologies. In physical systems, a module is generally a set of interacting components that relates to the external world via a very limited interface, thus concealing most aspects of its internal structure. As a result, modifications that are made to the internals of a module to improve efficiency for example do not necessarily create a ripple effect through the rest of the system this feature makes the effective use of modularity a centerpiece of all good software and hardware engineering. Topic: <inaudible> Inevitability of hierarchy and modularity. There are many compelling arguments regarding the prevalence and necessity of hierarchy modularity in nature. Kosler 1973. Simon 1996 points out that among evolving systems, only those that can manage to obtain and then reuse stable subassemblies modules are likely to be able to search through the fitness landscape with a reasonably quick pace. Thus, Simon submits that, "...among possible complex forms, hierarchies are the ones that have the time to evolve." This line of thinking has led to the even stronger claim that although we do not know what forms of life have evolved on other planets in the universe. We can safely assume that, wherever there is life, it must be hierarchically organized." Kosler 1967. This would be a fortunate state of affairs since the existence of simple and isolable subsystems is thought to be a precondition for successful science Fodor 1983. 
In any case, experience certainly seems to indicate that much of the world possesses hierarchical structure. It has been proposed that perception itself is a process of hierarchical decomposition late in 1992, and that phenomena which are not essentially hierarchical in nature may not even be theoretically intelligible to the human mind McGinn 1994, Simon 1996. In Simon's words, the fact then that many complex systems have a nearly decomposable, hierarchic structure is a major facilitating factor enabling us to understand, describe, and even see such systems and their parts. Or perhaps the proposition should be put the other way round. If there are important systems in the world that are complex without being hierarchic, they may to a considerable extent escape our observation and understanding. Analysis of their behavior would involve such detailed knowledge and calculations of the interactions of their elementary parts that it would be beyond our capacities of memory or computation. Applications <inaudible> 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 Practical applications of functional decomposition are found in Bayesian networks, structural equation modeling, linear systems, and database systems. Topic: Knowledge representation. Processes related to functional decomposition are prevalent throughout the fields of knowledge representation and machine learning. Hierarchical model induction techniques such as logic circuit minimization, decision trees, grammatical inference, hierarchical clustering, and quadtree decomposition are all examples of function decomposition. A review of other applications and function decomposition can be found in Zupin et al., 1997, which also presents methods based on information theory and graph theory. Many statistical inference methods can be thought of as implementing a function decomposition process in the presence of noise, that is, where functional dependencies are only expected to hold approximately. Among such models are mixture models and the recently popular methods referred to as causal decompositions or Bayesian networks. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Database theory. See database normalization. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Machine learning. In practical scientific applications, it is almost never possible to achieve perfect functional decomposition because of the incredible complexity of the systems under study. This complexity is manifested in the presence of noise which is just a designation for all the unwanted and untraceable influences on our observations. However, while perfect functional decomposition is usually impossible, the spirit lives on in a large number of statistical methods that are equipped to deal with noisy systems. When a natural or artificial system is intrinsically hierarchical, the joint distribution on system variables should provide evidence of this hierarchical structure. The task of an observer who seeks to understand the system is then to infer the hierarchical structure from observations of these variables. This is the notion behind the hierarchical decomposition of a joint distribution, the attempt to recover something of the intrinsic hierarchical structure which generated that joint distribution. As an example, Bayesian network methods attempt to decompose a joint distribution along its causal fault lines, thus cutting nature at its seams." The essential motivation behind these methods is again that within most systems natural or artificial, relatively few components, events interact with one another directly on equal footing Simon 1963. Rather, one observes pockets of dense connections direct interactions among small subsets of components, but only loose connections between these densely connected subsets. There is thus a notion of causal proximity in physical systems under which variables naturally precipitate into small clusters 
Identifying these clusters and using them to represent the joint provides the basis for great efficiency of storage relative to the full joint distribution as well as for potent inference algorithms. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Software architecture Functional decomposition is a design method intending to produce a non-implementation, architectural description of a computer program. Rather than conjecturing objects and adding methods to them oop, with each object intending to capture some service of the program, the software architect first establishes a series of functions and types that accomplishes the main processing problem of the computer program, decomposes each to reveal common functions and types, and finally derives modules from this activity. For example, the design of the editor Emacs can initially be thought about in terms of functions. E state of the Emacs editor and running operating system display style E equiv text state of the Emacs editor and running operating system E E with some component part of its state changed display style E equiv E text with some component part of its state changed F E L I S P E X P R E S S I O N E Display style F sad face E lisp expression right arrow E and a possible function decomposition of F F R O M E X P R L I S P E X P R E S S I O N O B J E C T if success E R R O R if failure display style from X P R lisp expression right arrow begin cases object and text if success error and text if failure end cases E V A L U A T E O B J E C T E E display style evaluate sad face object E right arrow E P R I N T E R R O R E E display style print sad face error E right arrow E this leads one to the plausible module, service, or object, of an interpreter containing the function from X P R. Function decomposition arguably yields insights about reusability, such as if during the course of analysis, two functions produce the same type, it is likely that a common function, cross-cutting concern resides in both. To contrast, in OOP, it is a common practice to conjecture modules prior to considering such a decomposition. This arguably results in costly refactoring later. FD mitigates that risk to some extent. Further, arguably, what separates FD from other design methods is that it provides a concise high-level medium of architectural discourse that is end-to-end, -end, revealing flaws in upstream requirements and beneficially exposing more design decisions in advance. And lastly, FD is known to prioritize development. As arguably, if the FD is correct, the most reusable and cost-determined parts of the program are identified far earlier in the development cycle. <laughs> <laughs> Signal processing Functional decomposition is used in the analysis of many signal processing systems, such as LTI systems. The input signal to an LTI system can be expressed as a function f t display style f t then f t display style f t 
can be decomposed into a linear combination of other functions, called component signals f t equals a 1 g 1 t plus a 2 g 2 t plus a 3 g 3 t plus plus a n g n t Display style f t equals a underscore one c d o t g underscore one t plus a underscore two c d o t g underscore two t plus a underscore three c d o t g underscore three t plus dots plus a underscore n c d o t g underscore n t. Here g one t g Two T G three T G N T Display style G underscore one T G underscore two T G underscore three T dots G underscore N T are the component signals. Note that O one Two, three, a, n, display style a underscore one a underscore two a underscore three dots a underscore n, are constants. This decomposition aids in analysis because now the output of the system can be expressed in terms of the components of the input. If we let t, display style t represent the effect of the system then the output signal is t f t display style t f t which can be expressed as t f t equals t a 1 g 1 t plus a 2 g 2 t plus a 3 g 3 t plus plus a n g n t Display style T F T equals T A underscore one C D O T G underscore one T plus A underscore two C D O T G underscore two T plus A underscore three C D O T G underscore three T plus dots plus A underscore N C D O T G underscore N T equals O one T G one T plus a two T G two T plus a three T G three T plus plus a N T G N T Display style equals a underscore one C D O T T G underscore one T plus A underscore two C D O T T G underscore two T plus A underscore three C D O T T G underscore three T plus dots plus A underscore N C D O T T G underscore N T in other words, the system can be seen as acting separately on each of the components of the input signal. 
Commonly used examples of this type of decomposition are the Fourier series and the Fourier transform. Topic: Systems engineering. Functional decomposition in systems engineering refers to the process of defining a system in functional terms, then defining lower-level functions and sequencing relationships from these higher-level systems functions. The basic idea is to try to divide a system in such a way that each block of a block diagram can be described without an and or or in the description. This exercise forces each part of the system to have a pure function. When a system is designed as pure functions, they can be reused, or replaced. A usual side effect is that the interfaces between blocks become simple and generic. Since the interfaces usually become simple, it is easier to replace a pure function with a related, similar function. For example, say that one needs to make a stereo system. One might functionally decompose this into speakers, amplifier, a tape deck and a front panel. Later, when a different model needs an audio CD, it can probably fit the same interfaces. See also Bayesian networks Currying Database normalization Function composition Inductive inference Knowledge representation Notes <laughs> <laughs>